All right, let's get another check of our weather right now with Storm Tracker 4 forecaster Isabella Fredrickson. I'm definitely not wearing shorts. Neither am I, but my little brother <laughs> does it all the time back in Washington, so. That was that was funny. All to right, me. <laughs> very brave. At least you can relate to that, Isabella. Yeah, well, we are currently in another storm tracker for alert day. Thanks to the rain and the snow we are seeing. I'll tell you all about it. And with that comes some things we need to watch out for. First, we are going to be seeing this rain and snow continue on from today into about tomorrow morning, tomorrow around lunchtime. That's when we can finally see some relief. But the big impacts you want to be aware of, wet and icy roads, some ponding on the roads. I know just driving here today, I saw a lot of spots where it looked like it was going to flood. Heavy rain and as well as some snow in those areas, 7,000 feet and higher. With that, just be wary of flash flooding. We will keep you updated on all of that. Now, taking a look at our storm tracker for Doppler radar. This is on a loop just from the last three hours. So starting at noon, as you can see that weather storm we've been tracking these last few days that was originally brewing off into the West Coast. It's continuing to make its way east and clearly it has arrived. It is here in southern Arizona and it is already in our region. Now a lot of it is still going to be in parts to our west right now, but it's going to continue to move east. So southern Arizona can expect to see some rainfall as well as snow in those higher areas throughout the rest of the evening. Again, we're not really going to see any relief until tomorrow around around lunchtime. I also want to point out even this, these little purple spots, that's going to be our mountain tops. Already seeing snow, just as you saw on our live cameras before, we're already seeing some snow fall. Another thing that we are tracking is some brewing thunderstorms. As you can see right down here from the last three hours, there's a lot of thunderstorms, especially in parts to our east along the international border. First, they're west, but they're going to continue to move east as we go throughout the rest of the day in the evening. So if you're in spots along the international border, Santa Cruz County, Cochise County, you can also expect to see some thunderstorms. And if you are in those higher elevation spots, both in Santa Cruz County, Pima County, Pinal County, Graham County, Greenlee County, and down in Cochise County, there is a winter storm warning that is going to be in place until tomorrow morning at around 5 a.m. So with that comes safety hazards when traveling, heavy snow. We are tracking another six inches of snow today. So I would call the 511 number as you go about traveling just to see the current road conditions, any road closures you might run into due to that heavy snowfall with the winter storm warning. Now taking a live look out of our storm tracker for Skycam Network. This is on top of Mount Bigelow on Mount Lemon and it, there's a little piece of snow right there. We really can't see out of this. It's already snowing and again that snow is going to continue on until tomorrow morning. Now right now outside in Tucson it is 54 degrees and it's raining outside. Humidity is 77% because there's a lot of moisture in that air thanks to that winter storm we've been tracking. Now in terms of impacts for this storm, the flooding is going to to be high. It's a high threat level for flooding. So as you go outside, if you're driving anywhere, give yourself some extra time on your commute because that is something you could run into. The wind is low, the dust is low, but lightning is also moderate. And in just a few minutes, I'll be right back with everything else you need to know regarding this winter storm we're seeing throughout this evening.